Nigeria has one of the highest cancer mortality rates in the world, with approximately four out of five cases resulting in death. But that's according to the Global Cancer Observatory. Now, the University of Ibadan Alumni Association is building a two billion naira diagnostic center to enhance early detection and treatment. A delegation of the body paid a courtesy visit to TVC Communications to encourage partnership in a bid to save more lives. Inyolu Apopola reports. Cancer remains a dreaded affliction and its risk increasing with age. With over 100,000 new cases every year, many Nigerians with friendly pockets might prefer to source for medical help outside the country, but those who do not have a choice seek for it here, albeit non-existent. With the clamor for better health care, the University of Ibado Alumni Association is building a cancer and research diagnostic center to allow access to better treatment of the disease. Science all over the place. It's even on the increase. But you see, according to physicians, if these things are diagnosed early, a lot of people will have been saved. So there is this urgent need for diagnosis. With limited cancer and diagnostic centers in Nigeria, they say this would help to ameliorate the sufferings and ease the burdens of many. We believe that it will help Nigeria um, by trying to set up this cancer diagnostic center where Nigerians from all walks of life, no matter where you're from. We do know that lots and lots of persons die through, not necessarily deformed, but through early diagnostic. TVC Communications has always been at the forefront of giving back to the society. And this is one out of many projects to ensure lives are touched. As long as it is about affecting life, getting people together to you know, assist in actual development of the, the university, we will do our best. Nigeria's progress towards universal health care may be slow, but this project is bent on achieving affordable critical health service in the country and reduced medical tourism. In Niolua, Pokola, TVC News, Lagos.